So far, we have just written straight text to the web page. If we go look at the code, what we've told it to write, we've, we're writing to this paragraph. Remember that you just start with an empty paragraph, and then you write to it by calling the accessing that paragraph using document.getElementById, and then saying inner HTML, which changes the content between the opening and closing tags. And we just, and I, we just wrote out a sentence, a string. I would like to meet your whatever variable the student or whatever value was entered by the user named again a value by the user who is named by the user. But we can also, we're writing to HTML and we can actually output HTML elements. So I could say, you know what, I want these to be inside a span. So I can put the opening span tag right before this value and the closing span tag after. Notice how these are inside the double quotes. right? And I want one before and after the pet name. So I'm going to put one in the quotes right before pet name and one inside the quotes after the pet name. That's the closing span tag. And then this last one around pet age. I'm going to put a span opening span tag. Now notice I don't have quotes after so I'm going to have to add them. So I add my quotes here and I'm going to put my closing span tag right there. And then I'm going to add a period to end that sentence which we haven't had. Okay, so what I've done is I've added actually HTML tags. An opening span tag and a closing span tag and then this whatever value of this variable we'll put between those spans. So let's go ahead and look what that will do. So if I enter Sam as my pet name and it's a goldfish and it's two months old and I click here, you can't see any difference. How do we identify if those span tags are there? Well, span tags are commonly used for styling purposes. So I can go in here and I can say, hey, I want my span tags to be uh, italicized. So I want the font style to be set to italic. And now if I go back and refresh this page, yes, it empties it out. I've got to fill them up again. And now I click here. And now everything inside the span has a t is in italics, right? Or I could add color. I could, um, let's see if I add a color. And I can pick up one up here, right? If I don't pick up the... Okay, save, and I come back and refresh it. And click here. Oh, my color didn't work. Let's see why not. I go there and look. Oh, I just put in an extra character, just a typo. Okay, so I go back and fix it, reload it. Okay, get lots of practice at entering, right? And two months old. And click here. And there it is. So now that had italicized and a color changed. So this is really to let you know that when you're writing uh, to HTML, right here I am, I'm changing the content in that paragraph that I can add HTML tags, opening and closing span tags. I can, you know, I can do image tags, whatever. I can code in those strings um, any, any, Text in those strings can include HTML tags.